Hi, this is Amanda, and I go by Indigo Angel. I was guided today to make a video about multidimensionality, um, to make a video about quantum energy, to talk a little bit about ascension, spiritual awakening, physical body ascension, um, higher or heart consciousness expansion, higher mind um, expansion, um, talk a little bit about the dimensions, um, basically talk about transcending the human experience, um, talking about energy that's felt on a cellular DNA level. Um, so I got a dry erase board because I'm basically about to break this down for y'all. Um, I have been stumbling, I feel like, on some of my videos with my words, with really, um, I feel like getting the, the, true point across that I'm trying to make. So I got this bright idea to get a board and then maybe um, this will help everyone to understand exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so I myself am empath, I'm intuitive, I consider myself to be a spiritual quantum healer, um, I'm a Reiki practitioner, uh, I um, am a Blu-ray, I resonate with galactics, so Arcturians, um, Palladians, Syrian, Sirius is a big one right now. We're definitely integrating a lot of photonic light right now from the Sirius star system. So we're um, getting a lot of um, light codes, DNA light codes from that star system right now. Um, but uh, so I consider myself to be these things. These are just labels that I identify with. Um, this is, um, I myself have gone through a spiritual awakening, a spiritual journey. Um, and several, several activations, um, crystal activations, grid point activations. Um, I've gone through um, uh, regression, transcendence, um, all of these things. Um, and I'm essentially just going to, um, I guess, basically put on the board how I interpret uh, my experiences to be. Um, if you resonate with it, that's great. If you don't, then hey, just keep moving along. This video wasn't for you. Um, but I'm essentially going to break down um, consciousness expansion and what that looks like in stick figure form. Okay, so everyone <laughs> get real excited for that. Um, okay, so in the beginning of time, and I'm using time. I know time is not real. I know time is a human construct that we have put on past, present, and future um, to essentially, you know, that's the human's mind. That's the human's way of... Um, identifying a construct, um, but for this sake I'm going to use time um, for this, but but do keep in mind that time is not, time is an illusion, um, and time, your future self is your higher self. Your higher self is your future self. So the more that you integrate your higher self into your physical body, the more that you integrate photonic light into your cellular DNA structures, into your energy centers, into your crystalline grid, the more that you um, integrate this into your body on a cellular DNA structure, the more that you um, transcend the separation of time within yourself. Um, and so you just know that you are your future self. Um, right now in in the present okay so i had to <laughs> go off on a tangent there just to um explain a construct that i'm actually going to use to help everyone's human mind understand what i'm saying um okay so in the beginning there was a human okay and yes my drawing sucks and yes my handwriting can be sloppy so please give me grace um and we're going stick figure right now so in the beginning, there was a human, and he's walking around on an earth, okay? Now, in the center of earth is Gaia's, and I say Gaia because this is feminine energy. I refer to it as female for feminine, um, and this is her psychic body. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to basically essentially explain um, the unconscious mind before physical body ascension, before you go through a spiritual awakening or an activation. Um, so 
or the, exactly, like this is um, the unconscious being, the third, this is like a third dimensional being, this is hearts closed, um, these are um, linear thoughts, um, this is um, an individual that operates out of fear um, and accomplishes things for self and for status in the material world, essentially. Okay. So operates from the human mind. Okay. Now, there's two places in the body that I say ego resides, and that's human mind, so ego. And then we also have the root chakra. Okay. Now, ego does serve a purpose. Ego serves a purpose for self-preservation. Ego serves a, pur a purpose for physicality. Physicality. Ego serves a purpose for survival. Ego even serves, I mean, and that survival can fall under reproduction, re reproduction as well. So um, ego is something that is a part of our body on a cellular DNA structure. It is a part of our programming, okay? Now, there are seven chakras in the physical body, okay? So we have our sacral, we have our solar plexus, we have our heart, we have our throat, we have our third eye, we have our crown. Okay, this is the seventh dimensional chakra body system. Okay. This is essentially your etheric body. This is going to get messy too, y'all, because I got a lot to talk about. This is the etheric body. Okay. This, this, this is the etheric body. Okay. These are where all your energy centers um, reside in the body. This is where you send energy. This is where you receive energy, okay? Um, now, going back to the unconscious human. So, two places in the body, they're operating from their human mind, and they're operating from essentially their root chakra, their sacral chakra, and their solar plexus, okay? Now, this is the solar plexus. Solar plexus. Okay. Which is directly connected to the solar sun. Okay. So now this is actually your masculine energy. Now, essentially, the more masculine your energies are inside you, so if you are unbalanced, if you are not embracing feminine and masculine energies, you um, are more masculine, which means you are more unconscious. And don't get mad at me. This is just how it is, okay? <laughs> um, the more masculine, the more unbalanced in your masculine energies, the more unconscious you are. If you think about what overly... Um, masculine energies are, what they present, what they bring um, into the physical world is war, football. I mean, okay, so <laughs> that's me, that's me kind of being funny there. Um, okay, so essentially if you are an unconscious human, if you are sleeping, the masses, the masses that are sleeping, you, um, your heart is closed, um, you have linear thoughts, um, means you're trying to put everything in a linear, all of your thoughts in, in a straight line. And you can't think multidimensionally. You can't think simultaneously. You can't, um, you're very focused on the physical world, okay? Um, you accomplish things for yourself um, and things and status. Um, and you don't support others unless you gain something in some way. Um, um, okay, I'm just <laughs> looking at some of my notes here because I'm talking about so much that I got to have my notes. Um, so, 
Okay. And in the human mind, you, you think linearly because you don't understand how realities are constructed. Um, so it, it, you, you, can't mas you can't master it because you don't understand. Okay. So if you're sleeping unconscious, heart closed, third dimensional, trapped in the cosmic matrix is what I like to call it. Um, your energies are flowing horizontally. Okay. So horizontal energy flow. This is unconscious. Okay. Now, as you start to become more awakened, more activated, now this can be caused from deep, deep suffering. This can be caused from lots of trauma in your life. Um, this can be caused from your human mind essentially breaking your body down from, from living so many years in your human mind, breaking it down with addictions, breaking your physical body down with, um, you know, drinking and doing drugs and, and being harsh on yourself. You've essentially ruined your physical body because you're not listening to yourself on a soul level. Um, you're, like I said, you're listening, you're projecting energies, so you're um, essentially not... Um, coming f from what your truest higher self is telling you that you need, which is to honor your soul, which is to honor your body, which is to um, come from a we consciousness instead of an I state. Okay, so essentially there's a, lo a lot of things that can cause a person to wake up. Some people who were born into this world with their energy centers already highly activated, like, like say they came in with heart chakra activated, they... Um, these people might not have such a traumatic awakening, but essentially you start to have an awakening. Or you become activated. Um, you have a, a kundalini, a spontaneous kundalini activation. Okay? When this happens, essentially, your heart starts to open, okay? Um, you start to feel more of the receiving feminine energies. You start to integrate them from Gaia, the center psychic body of Gaia. Now you're starting to integrate frequency from the center psychic body of Gaia. You're also starting to integrate frequency from above, from the solar sun, okay? This is essentially the alpha, and this is the omega, okay? Now, you're starting to integrate light particles, and you integrate them from below as well, into your physical body on a cellular DNA structural level, okay? Now, it, it, it works on a DNA. It works on a DNA level. So it's essentially, let's say this is a strand of DNA, a twelve DNA strand. You are integrating photonic light into your strands of DNA, okay? Which is causing the awakening which is causing the remembering. You're starting to remember who you are. You're starting to remember your divinity. You're starting to regress. You're starting to, well, not yet. You're not starting to regress. This is later. This is <laughs> several activation points, constantly expanding and contracting, expanding and contracting. This is how integration of photonic light works. Okay. All right. So now where was I? Okay. So now you're integrating these, um, uh, lights from above, frequencies from, from above, frequencies from below, your heart starts to open. Then you start to activate more of your energy centers. You start to activate the throat chakra. You start to activate the pineal gland. Okay? Your body may even go through on your spiritual awakening. Um releases of DMT, releases of melatonin, okay, melatonin. Your body 
it's releasing this from the pineal gland. So you're activating and awakening more and more and more as you ex as you contract and, as and expand, as you ascend and descend. It is a process. So you will expand a little bit, contract back, expand into the throat chakra, more gifts and abilities come online, awareness and consciousness wakes up and activates, you hold the frequency, but then you might expand back, you might decontract you might contract back. Okay, so constantly going through this process and this flux. Um, but once you start to achieve that awareness um, and you start to recognize the gifts and the abilities that are coming online, then you start to hold the frequency. Okay, so this is this is the fun part. This is when it starts getting fun. Um, <clears throat> so um, this is what most people at this point in their journey call their intuition. Um, so going through listening to their intuition, this is essentially their higher self. Um, and then, you know, you activate, uh, the crown chakra. So you keep expanding, keep expanding your energy. You're activating your crown chakra now. Okay. So crown chakra, I have some things written down here. So, uh, crown chakra is, you know, is when you're very highly conscious you're aware, you're using your higher mind, you're having more realizations, you're having more downloads, upgrades, um, transcendence of your limitations, you're starting to explore this, um, you're clearing out old belief systems, you're trying to go more universal, you're heading in that direction, okay? Um, okay. All right, so uh, as we keep expanding, we're growing and growing and growing, now, I would like to say, so solar plexus is like third dimensional. Crown chakra is fifth dimensional, okay? So, and it's essentially your experience. This is essentially um, what your reality is, is what dimension you are in. Um, so we keep on expanding, okay? So this is the seventh. So, now, this is your quantum electromagnetic field, okay? This is, this is all of you. This is, this is you expanded to the 12 dimensional realm. This is 12 dimension, okay? This is universal Christ, Christ consciousness, universal Christ consciousness. Okay, this is what Jim carries on. This is Jim Carrey. Anybody who knows what Jim Carrey's talking about, he's running around talking about universal Christ consciousness. This is the process that he's gone through, essentially, in his own way, and how he experiences energy. Um, but this is, this is essentially what he's been through. He's expanded his consciousness all the way into the 12th dimension. Um, this is where you um, are now in a we state, a we consciousness. Um, you realize that you are part of the collective, okay? This is where you get into collective consciousness. All right. So as you keep expanding, and like I said, expanding, contracting, expanding, contracting, every time you know, you're know you going through an activation, every time that you're going through a descension, the descension is essentially um, when you're having physical body ascension symptoms. The descension is essentially when you are, when your body is integrating um, the photonic light. So and your physical body feels this. That's why you have symptoms. That's why you, you're you nauseated. That's why you're sleeping immense amounts of hours or sometimes not at all. Um, that is why you're having mood changes. That is why um, you're having headaches, pineal gland, uh, third eye headaches. Um, this is why um, you might be having achy joints and muscles and having onset muscle soreness. That's a big one for me. Um, Another one for females, um, highly, highly 
um, anybody who has premenstrual dysphoric disorder, anybody who has severe hormonal imbalances and fluxes, chemical um, changes in the body hormonally. Um, for women, this highly, highly affects our period. Um, it um, makes it like a thousand times worse because essentially uh, your body kind of struggles with the, the fluxes of the hormones. Um, and so it can actually increase um, your physical body ascension symptoms um, and magnify them, so to speak. Okay, so this is, um, this is the causal chakra. This is the eighth chakra, okay? Now, when you've expanded outside of your physical body energy centers and you've expanded into the higher chakras that are residing outside of the body, this is where you start to connect to spirit. This is where you start to, in this chakra right here, the causal chakra, this is spirit, okay? This is where you essentially connect to angels. This is where you connect to light beings. This is where you connect to, um, this is where people start channeling. This is where people start reading tarot cards. This is where people feel that they're psychic mediums. This is where they've expanded and they're so aware of their consciousness that they're on a, a, a cellular level that they can feel thoughts and energy that are theirs. They can feel when it's not. They can feel energy passing through. They can feel light passing through. Um, now, when you're on your spiritual journey, all of this feels like it's outside of you. Um, this feels like you're using terms like they, this is why channelers will say that uh, this galactic being has entered my body and they'll start channeling, um, you know, whatever being that they're making contact with. Ultimately, that being is themselves on a higher dimension, okay? Now, causal chakra is also where we do past life regression. Okay. One thing that your higher, higher self will do is regress you to transcend you. And this will be a common theme. You don't really realize this is going on until you get up into the 12 dimensional chakra. Um, and then you start to identify that. Um, but at first you don't understand that that's going on. For me personally, I didn't understand that was going on. Um, my higher self constantly regressed me for self-healing. I regressed to Egyptian times. I regressed to um, times where I felt that I was walking with Christ. If I, I felt like I was either Christ or I felt like I was someone that was with Christ directly, like I was involved. Um, it usually comes to you in the form of a memory um, and an experience that you feel inside you that feels very, very real. Um, some of my regressions have brought me to tears. Um, at this point in time, when I um, expanded into the causal chakra and the spirit realm, I embodied and channeled Mother Mary. I embodied and channeled um, Archangel Gabriel. Um, I essentially felt like these experiences were my, were my own. Um, I regressed to um, Atlantean times. Um, I regressed to Lemurian times. Um, I regressed to, I told you, Egyptian times. Okay, and here's, here's the fun part. I'll tell you more about the past life regression. But past life regression is amazing. So um, you can do so much healing through past life regression. So if you feel that you've expanded into the causal chakra, um, past life regression might be um, a wonderful beautiful way for you to do more in-depth um, searching for your divinity, searching for your truth, searching for your higher self and your true knowledge um, of who you truly are. Um, okay. All right, I'll keep on going. Okay, let's see. Okay, wait. Sorry, I just have to check my notes really, really quick. Just make sure I got the ones I need. Okay, so this, the next chakra is the soul star, okay, so this is the soul star, 
Um, this is where you start to go in and you start to break down more of your own programming. Um, this is where you go in and start to break down more of your own programming. This is um, subconscious and conscious thoughts. Um, this is called your higher awareness chakra. This is um, your real self chakra. So this is where you learn more of your sovereignty, more of your divinity. Um, this is also where we get into karma, okay? Um, this is where, I'll draw a little line. <laughs> this is where we start to get into um, ancestral karma. This is where we release cords and attachments. This is essentially where we start to go within and break down our own programs and start to transcend ourselves, but we're not necessarily aware of it just yet. Um, this is where 12D 12, 12 kind of brings in more of that awareness. Um, this is um, also where you start working on soul imprints along timelines, okay? Now, each time that you're going through an expansion and a contraction, ascension and a descension, you're essentially collapsing old, dimen old dimensional reality timelines that no longer serve your higher self. Your higher self is trying to integrate into your body and expand you, okay? So when things start happening in life, um, when we go through portals, when we go through gateways, um, when you go through the 1111 gateway, 1212 gateway, when we go through an eclipse, a solstice, an equinox, these are all portals and gateways, but they are also convergences. They are essentially a collapse. Um, they are essentially something in your physical reality is collapsing out to converge and unify into a place of love. It's trying to unify from your higher self. Your higher self is trying to help guide you um, um, into more soul embodiment, into doing the right things, making the right choices. It's trying to ascend you, okay? Alrighty, let's keep on going then. Um, I feel like I missed my card. <clears throat> so as we keep on going, then we have the um, the 11th chakra, this is the intergalactic chakra, okay? So the intergalactic chakra is more spiritual ascension. Um, this is where you activate, you're activating this etheric body. Um, this is the etheric body. This is your light body. This is your crystalline body. Essentially, in the 11th chakra, you are, you are aware that the etheric body is essentially turning into a crystalline structure. It, structure. it goes etheric, it goes crystalline, it goes plasma, it goes plasma crystalline. Um, it keeps on, um, essentially, you're turning into a crystal, you're turning into a processor. As you get to 12th dimensional universal Christ consciousness, you are now coming from a place of observation. Okay. This is where we observe realities, okay? When you're an unconscious being with your energies flowing horizontally, you are essentially projecting, okay? 3D projecting, 5D observing. That's how to think of it, okay? So more of your true spiritual, true spiritual essence is coming in. Um, this is where you're actually technically a super conscious being. Okay. Um, this is where you have galactic integrations. Um, this is where um, you actually start navigating dimensions. So you are extremely conscious. You are extremely aware. You are navigating dimensions. And when I say navigated dim dimensions, this is what I ultimately mean. Um, so let me erase some of this here. Okay. So, 
So each one of these is a reality. This is a 3D unconscious being, okay? This is an awakened 12 dimensional being. When you start navigating dimensions, these, and these lines represent veils of amnesia, okay? So, now, 12 dimensional being can see through these realities. Now we're still in the same room with the third dimensional being. We're still we're still in together in this in the same room in the same reality, but the difference is if you're when you're a conscious 12th dimensional universal Christ conscious being in a state of observation, you essentially are observing through all these realities. Now as this person expands, they'll get to experience these other realities. And then they too will start to see through the realities, through the veils. But there is a veil of amnesia between each dimension. There is a veil of amnesia between each chakra as you expand, until you expand through. Um, so you're constantly um, breaking down the separation within. A veil of amnesia is essentially a, a, a separation and a lack within yourself. Um, okay, so you expand all this way, you expand, 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 let's say you've expanded into 12D. Now I personally, on my own personal journey, I am still constantly doing work in these higher realms, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. I'm, I'm expanding and contracting, expanding and contracting. I just recently started to tap into galactics. Now this is a whole nother ball game. Okay. I'm gonna erase some of this so y'all can see. Now I'm gonna do more on galactics, but for now, this is this is all I got for you. Cause I'm, I'm, like I said, I did a lot of Egyptian past life regression when I got to my causal chakra, and now I'm transcending into um, galactics. So I'm transcending into the Sirius stargate system. It's big for me right now. I've been shown immortality. I've been shown. Um, how they regressed me and why they regressed me to then show me their connection to the Sirius Stargate system, to Ra, to Osiris, to the Galactic Federation. All that's super cool and <laughs> can't wait to share more about that. But, um, okay, so as we expand into 12D, so this is, this is 12D again. You've expanded your consciousness. You're essentially Jim Carrey. Then we get into these star systems. These are the Galactics. Okay, so this is Sirius, this is Pleiadian, this is Lyran, this is Arcturian. Now, once you've expanded your consciousness, you start to feel the integrations from the galactics. But this is, this is major, major uh, consciousness expansion here. Okay. Alrighty. That was a lot. <laughs> um, I'm just going to look at my notes just a little bit here. Um, so, essentially, once you become, once you have soul embodiment, um, once you've expanded to your higher, higher self, which is 12D, you've integrated more of your higher self into your physical body, you're essentially becoming a crystal, you're becoming a crystalline, etheric body, you're becoming a plasma, crystalline, etheric body, um, you are integrating these higher aspects of yourself. Um, uh, this is essentially, when you're in 5D, it's essentially a vibrational existence. It is a sensory existence. Um, if you are in your human, unconscious mind, um, you hear words. Um, if you are a fifth dimensional conscious being, um, everything is beneath the words. It's the tones, it's the frequencies, it's the feelings, it's the emotions, it's your hearing. You hear the words, but really you're hearing the mentalities. Really you're hearing the manipulation. Um, you can see, ultimately, the fear. 
Um, and so um, all of your bodies, when you get fifth dimensional, have to turn tune into the higher self, into the light. You have to integrate the light into your physical body, into your emotional body, into your spiritual body, into your um, physical, spiritual, emotional, what am I missing? Um, in your mental body. Uh, and you, you trust in the universe. The physical world, if you're in three dimension, is a prison. The physical world, if you're in fifth dimension, is a playground. It's, it's free space. Um, so once you get fifth dimensional, you essentially want to emit your light. You want to share. You are coming from we consciousness. You're coming from unity. You're coming from collective. And it's all a beautiful process. And um, I hope everybody really, really enjoyed this video. Um, I might have to work on getting some better lighting. So maybe I could read you another one. And so it'll be um, more in depth, more detailed, and, and you can see more of my writing. And um, But I hope that kind of explains multidimensionality. This is multidimensionality. This is when you are a multidimensional light beam. Nothing is linear. Everything is simultaneous. Um, you are not c controlled by the constructs of your human mind. You learn the triggers. You learn the boundaries. You become aware um, that any time that you're feeling a victim mentality, that that is your human mind. Any time that I'm feeling judgment towards somebody else, that is my human mind. Any time that I'm going into protection mode, that is that is my human mind. Um, you, when you become super conscious, you become aware of um, the human mind. It, it becomes very apparent. Um, being in the room with somebody else who is a third dimensional being is very apparent. Um, but that's the beautiful thing about being a super conscious being is because you are in a state of observation and you get to choose your reality. You get to choose what you allow into your physical reality. And we have evolved past a lot of people. Some people you evolved past them and you have to, um, you, share, you share your life, but if their hearts are closed, then there's still um, a ton of DNA and, and programming and lack within themselves that they have to ultimately, ultimately clear out. Um, and it's just not their time. It's just not their time to expand. But um, one way that we can help others is just by sharing the love, sharing the light. But ultimately, if, um, if, if your heart is open, you're a super conscious being, um, and you're trying to work with somebody whose heart is closed, who's an unconscious being, a lot of times we have to pull our energies away from these people um, just so that they can go on their journey and their process of ultimately they're going to get, hopefully they're going to get here too. I, I believe at some point everybody on the planet's going to get here because Earth is at a fifth dimensional frequency. Earth ascended in 2012. Earth has gone from fourth dimension to fifth dimension. She's vibrating at a fifth dimensional frequency. Everybody who's polarized in the solar plexus in the masculine, solar plexus chakra, is holding on to the constructs, um, holding on to the things, holding on to the status, um, holding on to the fear, holding on to the linear thoughts. Um, they're essentially in a prison. Um, so... It's, it's all beautiful. It's all love. It all comes back to the unified field of love. Um, and, and that's the thing is we honor everybody where they're at um, on their journey. Um, we honor everybody's level of consciousness wherever they are. Um, it's not a race. It's not a competition. Um, and um, it's, it's all in everybody's own individual divine timing, but it's all a, a reflection of your inner world. Um, nothing is outside of you. Even when you get to um, the causal chakra, when you get to spirit realm, and this is where a lot of <laughs> this is where a lot of you know even friends of mine uh, on their personal spiritual journey are reading tarot cards. They're connecting to angels. 
um, they're channeling energies, not quite yet realizing that this is a version of their higher self. This is a, ver a, a version of, of them on a higher level, um, but in their process, it feels outside of them still. You'll get to a point in your ascension, in your journey, that you realize it's all within you. It always has been all along. Um, it's just trying to um, wake you up to remember. You're awakening to remember. As my little DNA strand went away, but as you um, awaken more on a DNA cellular level, you awaken to more of your truth, more of your divinity, okay? All right, well, I really hope everyone enjoyed my presentation today. Um, some feedback would be wonderful. Um, let me know what you think. Um, would you like me to keep making more videos like this? Did this help? Was this, um, did you understand? Um, I, I'd like to know so that way I can grow and I can expand more myself. Um, but thank you so, so much for watching. I hope everybody stays fifth dimensional, high vibrational in this beautiful fifth dimensional vibrational existence. Um, stay vibrating very high. Um, stay in love and light. Um, stay in hope. Um, and, and stay in gratitude. Whenever you feel yourself being pulled down into duality, you're essentially, this is what this is. Essentially, we are transcending the human experience from duality into fifth dimensional, the unified field of love, Mahatma unconditional love. We are transcending the human experience. Um, but, <laughs> um, but just stay in gratitude. Gratitude will always pull you back to that unified field of love. Whenever you're, you're feeling, um, whenever you're feeling down and you're, you're feeling the densities come over the emotional body, the physical body, the spiritual body, and you can't seem to pull yourself back into that fifth dimensional frequency, just start practicing gratitude for everything, no matter how silly it sounds. Um, be, be grateful for everything and it will pull your frequencies right back up there. Alrighty, well have a wonderful, beautiful day and thank you so much for watching. Um, Mahatma, unconditional love to everybody. Bye.